Hi, my name is Pip and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the new Warhammer Decadence and Decay preview. Uh, that just came out today and um, I've been waiting for this all week and I'm sure they got some kind of Slanesh or Death Guard reveal or some kind of Nurgle reveal. Let's see what we got here. Um, rust to Rust. New Warzone Charadon. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Uh, it's Oh, it's a new Crusade book, I'm guessing. Like the Indominus one. Is that Act 1? Um, how many acts going to be? I see he's got a deal of Typhus. Death Guard, Mechanicus, Imperial Knights, and Jukari. Oh, that's cool. Didn't expect a Jukari. Or the Imperial Knights, honestly. Let's see. Oh no, that's the Crusade pack. Plague Purge. Oh, that'd be pretty interesting. Maybe I'll take a look at picking that up. Oh, a new Drakari Codex. So, that artwork actually looks really good. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've seen that artwork before. Uh, it looked really good in a limited edition codex. Let's see here. Some rules for the Incubi. I think these are the new rules which just came out when the new uh, plastic Incubi came out. So they have damage 2 on their weapons. You know, Space Marine Killers. New Dark Angels Codex. That artwork also looks pretty good. Uh, I think that one's new too. Uh, new rules for the Crusade rules. I haven't played Crusade yet, but it's a really cool. I want to get into it. New Necromunda, House of Artifice, Van Sar. Let's see. Oh wow. Oh wow, these look really good. Are those jet bikes or some kind of hoverboards? Or oh, not jet bikes, hoverboards. Oh, those are, I don't what I like about Van Sar is they don't look like 40k at all. They look super sci-fi. I mean I know it's Necromunda, but they don't look like anything, you know. Uh, like a regular uh, men should have. Those are really cool. Oh wow. Yeah, they look totally like sci-fi, not from like Warhammer at all. Get a closer look at them. Oh, they got the little arms and guns coming off. and oh, The shields, um, they're pretty cool too. Oh yeah, Vance are they're pretty nifty. Lord of the Rings. It's that plastic tree beard. It actually looks really good too. They did a good job on this. It's re I mean, I've never collected... Um, I've never even picked up any models for Lord of the Rings. Or The Hobbit. But, I've always been tempted because the miniatures are really cool. And I've loved Lord of the Rings since I was a kid. I mean, who doesn't, right? Let's see here. Oh, and it comes with Merry and Pippin. And you can sit them on top of the end or separate. That's cool. I, I'm really tempted to pick that up. Yeah, Tree Beard looks really good. Let's see. Warhammer Underworld, Desecrate Diachasm. Looks like Chaos Warriors. Okay. Oh, I love that hand coming out of that cloak there. Alright, those are really good sculpts. Um, they are uh, like the uh, start collecting Chaos Warriors they did last year. As ref I hope we get like a multi-part box of those. Those are really good sculpts and knights and uh, the Lord and the Chaos Warriors. It's just, it refreshed it without actually totally redoing the sculpts or the miniatures. And they look, these ones look solid too. And nothing crazy or special, it's just solid sculpts here. Warhammer Age of Sigmar. I'm guessing this is Slanesh. And it is... Okay. Oh, it's Sigvald. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that model's beautiful. Oh, that's... Uh, does that have a 3D view of this? Or 360? Uh, oh, that model's... That's awesome. I mean, I feel like I just gotta pick that up for the modeling. And the painting. That'd be an awesome model to paint. Oh, gosh, and he's like he's just like stepping down. That's a beautiful miniature. The hair flowing in the back with a cape and a shield. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I mean, he, it's Sigvald, right? He's supposed to be. 
Oh yeah. Flowing main of got a peek at the forces. Oh that's more slanesh? Okay. I'm kind of excited. What are, wait, what are these? Myrmidesh pain bringers. Oh I like Oh the mortal followers. That oh that really cool too. Oh, they did a good job. They did a good, good job on a paint scheme, too. Pinks and purples. Oh, they're really cool. Let's see here. Uh, so, how do I even pronounce that? Sombaresh Twin Souls. These models who have forged dark packs with the lesser demons of Slanesh, sharing their bodies in return for a measure of power. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, that whip's pretty cool. They've been doing good jobs with whips on models. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that face. I mean... I don't feel that... I know how I feel about... Ah, this face is... That one's alright. The weapons look cool in this. The faces look a little derpy. I don't know. I mean, covered half the face. That's fine. I don't know. Maybe I'll grow used to it. Those faces look a little, uh, a little off. Yeah, I don't know about that face. Oh, the cool miniatures. I feel like I'd do a face swap. Or a head swap. I don't know. And that's it. Yeah, um, you know what? I wasn't expecting Sigvold. That's a... That's got to be one of my favorite miniatures I've done in a long time. It's just beautiful. Like, I, I, I'm going to have to buy it, hands down. I mean, I do like these Slaneshi models. I do like these, um, the Myrmidesh a lot more than the Twin Souls. I think it's just a face swap. It's just the faces on these. I think there's a decent preview. I did not expect the Sigvald. Um... Chaos Warriors, they're alright. The Chaos Warriors, they're solid miniatures. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, that'd be fun to paint, of course. And then you got the tree beards, really cool. Uh, if I would start picking up Lord of the Rings miniatures, it is something I would grab. And let's see, Vansar. Um, I don't collect Vansar, but I always think they're cool miniatures. I always think they do a good job. I feel like anything on Necromonda they do pretty cool. I like their range and I like how, you know, they uh, fleshed out pretty good. And new codex is new war zone. And all right, guys. Uh, that's about it for this one. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.